Hello guys. Hey, hey, hey. How you guys doing? Um, I'm going live because I want to talk to moms because it's kind of becoming the normal for me right now, like every Friday, right? Talking about moms and how to take care of some business. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay, so how you guys doing? I'm just checking on moms to say hi and to share my tips on how um I hope I'm getting this right. No, 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 no. <laughs> Okay, I think this is better. Okay, guys, one minute. Let me type something on my phone. Uh six tips. Hmm, what's the title again? Dang. Tips for moms. Okay. To manage. I wrote this already, but um yep all right okie dokie guys how are you doing happy friday friday is like my fun days because i'm always excited like the week is over <laughs> like ah <laughs> um so um how are you guys doing for those of you in my group and for those of you on my instagram hello um so today i want to talk about how to manage family and business it's been a lot um you know like for my client um if you all don't know um actually let me introduce myself my name is kate i'm a business coach and a social media marketing strategist i help moms who are ready to start and grow successful um service-based business and start making five to ten k a month in 90 days or less depending on how um, fast or ready you want to get it okay so that's what I do and that's what I help uh, moms do all right so if you want to get more tips on how to manage your business and how to start booking client you can join my Facebook group uh, for those of you on well this is my Instagram so I'm talking to the people on my Instagram because I'm doing this on my Facebook group already so for people on my Instagram, click the link on my bio and tap the only blue button to join my Facebook group. Okay. All right. So, um, and one minute, if you haven't registered for the challenge, uh, the September challenge, which is starting a business in three days. All right. Starting a business. <coughs> so, which is starting a business in three days, just three days. All right. So, cause I want to make. I, I hear a lot of people talk about, I don't know where to start. I don't know how to start. It's a lot of process. It's not. The thing with uh, business, starting a business is if you want to make it difficult, it's going to be difficult for you. If you want to keep it simple, it's going to be simple for you. Starting something new is always crazy. It's always scary because we don't know what we have. Like what is just the fear of unknown kind of. That's it. And that's why we're always stressed. But. It doesn't have to be this is business right when you're studying business you don't have to be that scared and that's why i'm doing this challenge so if you haven't signed up for it for those of you on my instagram click the first uh button i think it's pitch to register for those of you on my facebook group please click on all the links that i've been posting i think i will post one again tonight please register so you can get the workbook right now i have three workbooks that will help your business one is the workbook is about how to pick a name the second workbook is about business plan. So you're going to own your business plan. That's the workbook for that we're going to be working on this three days. And the number three is about you, your business being, hold on, what's going on? Oh, is about your business being, you know, having a website and making it 
are visible for people to know you exist so it's like full-blown business in three days so that's what it is so you need these three workbooks and the only way you can get it is if you sign up if you don't sign up for those of you on my facebook group you can join remember how we did the august one you can join you can watch the video because everything is in the group <clears throat> you can watch the video you can do the homework <clears throat> on your own but you cannot have the workbook which is something to cherish if you have it you have it and you just it's going to help you build businesses so if you're not building now you can use it to build another one or even help someone that is ready to build okay so let's go to the main thing that brought us today so i have six um tips on how to manage because i have i have four business five businesses in case you don't know yeah this 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 three and two yeah i have five businesses but a lot of you don't know i only have two that my name is attached to my coaching and the red sea that's my first uh business n-t-i-r-i-t-z-y larissa bride dr tour um so i have a lot and i have kids and i'm home teaching like home whatever you call it teaching home learning distance learning whatever you call it i'm doing it all right um even though i have help i have help it's still not easy all right it's still not easy so i'm here to share the tips on how i'm sane and able to do all that i'm doing all right so if you have your pen and the paper i want you to start taking notes because this is gonna help you a lot all right i want moms to be successful uh, because it's not easy and that's why I love to work with moms because I've been in your shoes I went through whatever you're going through right now. I did all right So and I understand you guys more because I am a mom. I have kids. I understand you um, So that's why I'm doing all I'm doing and that's why as a coach I work with moms. All right um, That's that's just the main thing so today is about tips on how to help you manage your business and your uh, family at one at the same time people are confused people don't know yeah my kids are upstairs you hear them talking or playing but hey uh, let's see if I can move oh, it doesn't matter all right so um please bear with me all right my number one is if you of course I work with service providers but I don't know how many people are watching me there are service providers so um, if you are a service provider if you're a coach or you are a uh, VA you you know like if you, whatever it is you're doing especially for coaches that have like sales calls or even VAs you know you you can have all those things as well um, I want you know like I don't because I have my schedule like always open sometimes which is crazy um, but it's not advisable to do that because it's gonna crash even though you might have your Google Calendar attached to your uh, calendar like you know where people book for your call it can be currently it can be whatever it is sometimes it still crashes because I have more than I have like I told you I have five businesses my time sometimes to crash so it's uh, for moms because you have kids, you have a husband or a wife, or you're just a single mom, it's gonna be difficult for you to have everything open. So I want you to pick two days or three days, all right, in a week. And just so you pick out like hours. So let's say you say, I'm open Mondays and Thursdays, right? Now, when you come to the calendar of Mondays and Thursdays, you can only choose maybe two to six p.m. All right so which means if someone want to book you for a call or you know if you have a sales call they have to pick between the windows of two o'clock to 6 p.m all right so i want you to because you have to have days open but i don't want you to crash with you having other things done so you gotta be strategic about how you pick your days all right or how you schedule your day your openings so if you speak two, I say two to three days, so you can figure out you can do Mondays. I don't like doing Mondays because I don't have my Monday open because after Sunday, you know, with all the running around, you just jump into sales calls. To me, it's like too busy because I, I should be sending them links and all that. So I feel like it's crazy. So I just take off Monday, uh, Monday. So if you want, you can go Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays 
and pick out um, hours that you will be opening so people can pick from there that's one for those of you that do sales calls and need, you know have to talk to people right so that's how you can do it just pick two days during the week all right my number two is don't schedule anything major all right anything big on the weekends um the reason why i say that is you know during the week is crazy enough and the weekend you think moms will just relax and sip their wine no that's when you do the laundry you did the cleaning if you have a supportive husband or wife um they can help you get some things done but even the weekend is still crazy for moms because we take that time to get some things are ready for the week right so weekends are always crazy and sometimes your husband or your wife won't take that you'll be like my husband is gonna be like wait after working during the week you also want to work on the weekends like don't we even have time for ourselves if you hear that that means it's bugging them all right so you gotta make changes before it becomes something big all right if you hear that continue hearing uh, your loved ones or your husband or your wife complain about you not giving them time i think it's time for you to rethink your schedule all right so um don't schedule something major on the weekend you can get other things done and maybe like do schedule post or i know i keep saying post because that's the easy thing for me or you can just schedule your your post on your social media right that's easy you can go down to your phone and be chatting with them and still be doing something i don't know that's how i get by some some weekends but nothing major all right so you can have time with your family uh start owning a business doesn't mean there's no fun in your life like you don't have to have fun you have you know this you should create time for fun because that's all all this you know impacts your your mental um stability so you need to have fun all right so you don't leave people behind and chase the wrong thing and you know your family is like where is she even though she's right here with them they still miss you all right um number three is uh don't bother yourself too much about how clean the house is so depending on how young your kids are my kids are like seven five three all right and at this age they have toys i just don't bother myself about it during the week you know why because i have so much going on and you paying attention to all those tiny little details um it's gonna make you you're gonna waste time on things that are not important all right so don't bother yourself too much if someone is coming to your house then that's okay you can take out 30 minutes uh to get some toys out of the way or get things uh cleared out of the way all right so as long as it's safe for them there's nothing um that's gonna harm them it's just their toy i don't have i don't, I don't have to bother myself about cleaning the toys all right my husband hates that but hey <laughs> i don't i don't know what i i can't not waste the time that i don't have to clear the toys that you know in the next few minutes they're gonna mess it up again so i don't i can do that all right so number four is if you have grown-up kids see if you can talk to them to see if they can help you in any way all right um for those of us that still have little kids we do all all this job ourselves or our husbands or wife helps uh but if you have grown-up kids you can you know give them one one or two chores to help you get done while you take the time to do something um about your business all right and if you feel that what you're doing is getting too heavy for you you can hire someone you can hire help you can hire a va to help you if that's taking care of one part so you can have your sanity back um because it's difficult handling everything all by yourself and having the kids and the husband and the wife you gotta please a lot of people we're not pleased but you got people that you have to you don't have choice right you know you have to help out especially your kids right so if it's becoming too crazy for you um you can always ask for help or ask your family for help all right so if someone can help you uh with watching the kids while you get things done go for it but with the covid and all that is a little bit risky so i don't know if you have grown-up kids that would be it would be great you know it would be a great help for you <laughs> for us young kids i'm gonna do all by myself but that's my number um my number four so my number five is um oh for those of you that even it doesn't matter what age your kids are 
you can get them to bed by eight o'clock and that's what i do by between eight and nine sometimes i let them stay to nine o'clock when they want to watch whatever program they want to watch from eight to nine i let them stay watch it and they go to bed like nine o'clock so i have i have like at least two one to three hours to walk before going to bed because i hate to wake up early in the morning i i'm not morning oh god i hate it i rather walk till 3 a.m than you waking me up at six. Oh my god the whole day is gonna be like i've been awake the entire night <laughs> so no i hate morning so i rather walk till 3 a.m and wake up like seven and i will be fine like perfect but if you wake me six o'clock or 5 30 the whole day is gonna be like i have sand in my eyes like i was awake the entire <laughs> i've never seen anyone like myself yeah so when i get the kids to bed at eight or nine i work like 10 11 12 all right so that means i have three hours to work um while the kids you know the kids are like asleep all right so you have the, the quiet and calm so you can actually think while you work what is happening okay so you can actually think right uh, that's really helpful so if you have a question please um put it down and i'll be happy to answer that and my number six and final tip for you awesome beautiful hard-working moms or is make large meals right so that's what is saving me too um when i cook because my husband don't eat out we don't eat out i have to cook everything yeah so when i cook i cook in large batch so i just like sh share it you know so this is for this this is for this when i cook that's how i cook so i have to cook during the weekend sometimes i cook three or four meals and just put it in different uh bowls and put it in the freezer so every day i just pull out two so i can just let them you know kind of like um in the fridge so when i need i just microwave it or put it in the pot and cook it so that's how i do it it makes it easier for me you know from starting like cooking everything afresh all right or from the start whatever however you say it so if you want to cook so see if you can do that cook large meals so you can divide it by two or three depending on how how big it is um so you know at least it will be a little relief for you during the weekend when i cook that large meals it takes up the entire week relieving me of cooking all the time so it's easy for me to just heat it up and give it to the kids all right because the school no all right those are my six tips so let's let's recap um number one is picking out two to uh two or three days uh if you are like a coach so you can have two or three days open for your sales calls all right so you pick out what time and day you want right so the whole entire you know i don't want the whole week to be open you're gonna run crazy um so number two is don't schedule anything major um on the weekend so you don't get your loved ones bugged because my husband's gonna be are you still working today we should be having time for ourselves you know i don't want that when you hear that you get a steps back that means someone is missing you even though you're right there before then all right your love life doesn't have to suffer all right your love life doesn't it don't let your love life suffer because of your business your business is here to help the family not to break the family try to do that if possible all right so number three is don't bother yourself about tiny little toys laying here and there yeah the kids are screaming so don't bother yourself too much about that all right unless someone is coming uh, number four if you have grown-up kids see if they can help you out with some of the chores in the house or watching their little uh, brothers and sisters while you get things done or even giving them some of your job you know so if you coach let's say you need a little template a uh, design you can show them sample that you have if they know how to use Canva because the kids are very smart nowadays they can use it to actually recreate something for you yeah and pay them because you can have tax um for them claim tax uh, for them all right and number five get the kids to bed eight, eight between eight to nine o'clock so you have some maybe two three hours to yourself to get things done and number six 
make large meals uh, during the weekend so put it in the freezer so it helps you um, throughout the week all right so those are my six tips I hope these are helpful um, if you need uh, my services or you want me to coach you one-on-one -on -one, click on the link for those of you on my Instagram click the gold link up there and um, click the gold link and tap on um, the zero to um, unlimited uh, client if you're on my Facebook group I'm gonna add the link to the comment section uh, right now all right so guys this is it and hope you guys enjoy this take care of yourself look at someone is peeping <laughs> love you guys if you have any question please don't don't hesitate to like you know reach out to me I'm always here to listen all right bye guys have a great weekend <laughs>